with their line there. <laughs> Put the number four player in the Rolex rankings. Beautiful approach. And Pressel, this for birdie. Morgan to even par. Okay. Right direction. Major champ. Kang with a par putt left up to number three in the world on the strength of what, seven top five finishes and eight worldwide starts between October of last year and the end of August. Been a great run. Three wins during that time. One in Shanghai, a couple in Toledo. You got to think that on a course this difficult in these kinds of conditions, these are going to be the pots that go a long way in terms of determining the champion this week. Four or five, six foot par pots. quite a bit just in the couple holes we've watched her yeah, it's discipline but it, you don't want it to become a distraction exactly right so important to be as comfortable as you can over these Would you have backed off entirely well, after going through that? Wind may affect her more than other players because she actually hovers the putter before she takes it back. Uh, so she's got to have it hovered in a, in a neutral position. Uh, she's more likely to be affected by the wind than others that keep it on the ground. Three under and one off the lead of Kelly Tan here in the opening round at Aronomy. And a green laughing at that one. She may not have struck it how she wanted, but it's going to find the fairway. Now let's take a look at this uh, 16th hole, Paige. Yeah, you can get a, a visual of exactly how this fairway slopes from left to right. It's much more natural for a drawer of the golf ball off of the tee. And then the layup, you can't sleep on the layup because they're surrounded by bunkers and you need to make that choice whether to leave it behind those or try to give it a go. And then approaching into this green, it's very flat. Can't see the whole location from where it is today on the left-hand side. Playing into the breeze today. So a three-shotter. And that one might just run out of fairway. No, it's going to stay on the short grass. And we'll go over to the first. Going in opening nine for Kelly Tan, the back nine. So there you have a look at the first and the elevation change from the tee down to the fairway and back up to the green. Kelly Tan getting ready. Quite a dramatic first hole here, isn't it? <laughs> it, it? It is. I mean, you step up there and it kind of puts Aronomy in perspective from the yeah. opening shot. It is. It's one of the more friendly, uh, K, I think, driving yeah, goals think on the golf course, though. Most definitely, but it says you better bring your A game. <laughs> There's no uh, sort of uh, faking it around this golf course. <laughs> Kelly has 183 yards. Nine. And it plays seven yards up, but the wind is helping so probably can just take away that and play the actual number just looking right at this whole location it's only 12 paces between that left edge and where the whole location is right now so just staying right at that bunker yeah 17 to get up to that back level and kind of fan that one and does get up to the proper level but she'll have a Oh, a good 75 footer at least for birdie. Often it's a gentle start on Donald Ross golf courses. Not here. This is the second toughest hole. Ten is the toughest hole, so you start in the front or back. It is tough. How about yeah, this one? A lot of it, it's not the drive. It's actually the approach. You can see very wide open off of the tee, but the approach elevated off an uphill lie. This whole location, again, tucked on that left side, brings that bunker into play, the rough along the left and behind the green into play. Stephanie Meadow just off the fairway. Yeah, a couple paces ahead of where Kelly was. Um, a better angle to that back left hole location. And figuring it was going to release some. Was hoping it would release a little further. There's been one birdie all day at the first, and that was by Allison Kurt, club professional. Ji Chun on the tee at 17, the par three, 181 yards. From one long approach shot to another. Uh, <laughs> what a shot. 
fantastic. Again, three of these par threes playing over 180 yards today. Paige, we look ahead to next year, 2021 KPMG Women's PGA Championship. It'll be at Atlanta Athletic Club, Johns Creek, Georgia, June 22nd through the 27th. You can purchase tickets or register to be a volunteer on KPMG PGA Championship.com. 2021. To 16. Yeah, so Brittany Lindsay can, can make birdie here. Approach shot just hopped a few by and left her with the putt back down the hill. Good start though for Brittany Lindsay. She's one. You don't often get a three way playoff. You also don't often get a winner in Miriam Lee that chips, uh, chips in three times in the final round. Kind of agree, just laying up at the 16. Some fairway bunkers to avoid. Right. Bunkers that uh, sandwich in about 85 yards to the front of the green. Now, Ganyo can I just can't stress enough how long this hole is playing today. Back into a serious breeze at the moment. 520 yards. Danielle looking to flight this very wood. There's a bit of a tug here. But it appears as though it's going to ramp off that left side of the fairway, which pitches left to right. Leave her quite a good angle pitching back into the wind. Danielle Kang's yeah, like, full striking. Edge is good. Uh, she yeah, referenced her boyfriend, Maverick McNeely. She uh, jokes saying, yeah. he dates me for my full striking and I yeah. date him for around the greens. <laughs> 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 now, Brooke Henderson. Just really hoping we'd see driver off the fairway here, but maybe a little later in the day. <laughs> that one's gone left. Yeah, that's a pull. Might get away with it. Yeah, looks like it. Well, if your bad ones turn out like that this week, it's going to be a decent week, I think. And that's the shot they'll have in, protected by that long bunker. Front left of the green. Go short distance over to number eight. Ryan Stackhouse has this for birdie coming back down the hill. Yeah, this is going to be speedy. Tough start for Marash at a double bogey and then back to back bogeys coming into this hole, but that's a really nice judge of the speed there. So it should be a three on this eighth hole. We've only had 10 birdies here so far today. And that's an easier hole location, so just think about when it's going to be tough. Let's go to the first. Kelly Tan with a lengthy putt coming up here, the leader. I might have exaggerated being 75 feet away, more like a 45-footer, but regardless, it's going to be um, just a, a matter of trying to grind and two-putt this, make it the easiest two-putt as you can. No doubt throughout the week, Paige, players are going to have a boatload of three, four, and five-footers for par, and if you can just minimize that and have a tap in here or there, it just takes a lot of stress off. You're exactly right, Kay. 